Hey, everybody. Um, we're live for the uh, Facebook Q&A to talk all things Chicago PD fall finale related. Uh, it's on tonight at 9, 8 Central on NBC. Don't miss it. Um, sorry, I'm a little late. We were still filming. We're still filming right now, and they're on our set. So I'm coming to you live from the bullpen of Chicago Justice. This is the Chicago Justice bullpen, so let's sneak around for a second and check out what they got going on. Let me tell you something. It's a little cushier than us cops. Here's Phil Winchester's office. Yup. Pete Stone. They call him Pete Stone here. Pretty nice, but check this out. This is State's Attorney Jeffrey's office, also known as Carl Weathers. He's awesome. Um, pretty nice. Pretty plush. I mean, check this out. There he is with uh, Obama and Rom. Kind of fancy. Okay. Let's uh, let's get to this. I'm gonna start answering all your questions. You guys have sent in a bunch of questions, and I have them here. And I'm gonna set this up. Awesome. Hopefully that stays. All right. Just a little fun time. I feel like Mr. Rogers. Okay. All right. Amy Marshall wrote in. Jesse, has any particular storyline on Chicago PD affected you on a personal level? Um, definitely. You know, uh, the hardest one was probably when Nadia died. Um, as an actor and as a character, because you're having to play what's going on for the character, which is losing this friend, losing this person who, uh, you know, your character has a relationship with. And then also as an actor, it's, it's a friend leaving the show. So... It's kind of a double whammy, and that was definitely a difficult one for all of us, I think. Okay, what do we got? Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to butcher so many of these names, so I apologize in advance. Okay. Britta Kamsel says, what was your funniest moment on the set so far? Greetings from Germany. Hey, what's up, Germany? Hi, Britta. Um, okay, so the funniest moment on set, uh, there's been so many, but the one that comes to mind first is um, I usually, anytime we're leaving the bullpen and I walk by LaRoyce's desk, I always like pick stuff up and like knock it over and like knock over his phone and stuff just to mess with him. And you can catch it in scenes, at the end of scenes sometimes. And he tried to do it to me one day and I had a cup of coffee sitting on my desk and he kind of just flipped the lid just to like move it a little and it was full and it dumped all over the desk and all over my crotch and it was hot. Not cool. Really not cool. Um, but we had a good laugh. And it took like, you know, 20 minutes to clean up before we could start shooting again. So thanks, LaRoyce. Um, okay, what do we got here? Natalie Wong says, what is your favorite thing to do in Chicago? Don't say eat at restaurants because I just need to look at your Instagram to figure that out. It's true, I'm a big foodie. You're not wrong, Natalie. Um, favorite thing to do in Chicago? Lately, my, uh, my hobby in Chicago has been getting with... Uh, uh, Nick Gelfus and going and seeing movies. We have like little mandate movie dates once or twice a week where we go see whatever's uh, out in theaters. We just saw The Accountant. It's pretty entertaining. Um, you know, we like a good action flick. Um, what else? What else do I do? That's about it. That's about it. Once it gets cold, it's like you all you can do is eat carbs and watch TV. <laughs> um, all right. Deb Leahy. Deb Leahy? Sorry, Deb. Deb Leahy says, with the holidays coming, what is your favorite Thanksgiving tradition? Um, favorite Thanksgiving tradition. So when my family gets together on my mom's side, we always have a big dinner for Thanksgiving. And uh, my Aunt Jan uh, buys these poppers, you know, the kind of poppers, like the holiday poppers you pull apart. So we buy the, the big ones and we all pop them at the same time. And they come with like little toys and stuff inside and little paper crowns. And we always have a competition who can wear their paper crown the longest. And whoever wins usually, like, wins a bottle of wine from my Uncle Larry or something like that. Um, but it becomes a, a big, you know, contest who can knock each other's crowns off and who falls asleep and who loses theirs and whatnot. So that's always a good time. Um, okay. Let's see. Sylvia Tardo. How many hours do y'all work? Ooh, she's Southern probably. Do y'all work to do one episode of Chicago PD? Sylvia from, from New Orleans. That's, that counts. Um, we generally do... Our episodes are between eight and nine days. Um, 
give or take, sometimes even a little longer. And the crew works usually a 14 hour day. It's pretty crazy. Um, we try to keep it to 12, but, uh, you know, it's just hard. There's action scenes, there's night scenes, there's, uh, location shooting. And, uh, you know, we, we get pretty, uh, we can get pretty run down, but, uh, it's all one big family. So it's, it's like the guy in the foxhole next to you. That's, that's why you keep going. Um, let's see what else. Okay. So we have a question from Marina Scorchinhati. It's been written in. I want to show it to you. She literally wrote Marina Scorchinhati, also known as Marina Scorchati. And uh, she, hers is a write-in. She wrote, tell us about Halstead's cool new winter jacket. Also, how awesome is Marina? <laughs> You're an asshole. I got a new winter jacket. It's going to be really warm. I asked the wardrobe department to get it for me. It's going to be great. Marina, you're super awesome. Okay. Stephanie Gamboa. <laughs> no, just kidding. I love you. All right, Stephanie Gamboa. If you had to choose to watch one sport the rest of your life, which one would you choose and what? We hear yelling. Maybe we're not. They, they found out that we're not supposed to be here. They sent the police. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, Stephanie Gamboa. If you chose to watch one sport for the rest of your life, which one would you choose and why? That's easy. Soccer. It is the world sport. It is the beautiful game. It is the most graceful. And I played it my entire life. Soccer. That's very easy. Okay. Carla Beck Rogers. Hi, Jesse. Hi, Carla. When you were not filming in your off time, do you stay in Chicago or do you go back home? Um, that depends on how much time we have. If it's like a four-day weekend or something, I'll try to go back to L.A. and see my friends and hang out. Um... Otherwise, we're, we're generally in Chicago. Chicago's our home away from home. Um, but in the hiatus, when we get a couple months off, then, then I go back to L.A. for sure. Or to New York to see family. Um, okay. You guys are all writing stuff in. If I Oh, there's like questions coming in down there, too. I didn't even know. They didn't tell me that that was going to happen. Um, what do I do? Okay. <laughs> um, Michelle Jensen. Who's your favorite Chicago cast member to do a crossover with? Well, I haven't done a crossover with him yet, but I want to work with Carl fucking Weathers, man. I swore. I swore. I'm not supposed to swear. It's okay. I swear, whatever. Um, yeah, State's Attorney Jeffries. This is his office, and he's a badass, and he was in Rocky. Come on. Um, okay. What else do we got here? Jamie Feidler. How do you think Halstead is handling Mouse rejoining the Rangers? Um, I, I think we cleared that up in the episode when when we told that story. You know, Halstead had a rough time with it, didn't want to let him go, but realized that it was the best thing for him to do, and I think he's cool with it. You know, Mouse made his decision. All good. Okay, uh, Heather Engraff. Uh, what was your first acting job and at what age? Heather, let me tell you something. I've been doing this a long time. Long time. Um, I started when I was six years old, and my first gig was a Kix cereal commercial. Um, and, you know, it was like four brothers on a couch, and I think I jumped onto the couch, and I was the one saying, like, there's no marshmallows in this, or something like that. And that was about, let's see, I'm 32. So that was like 27 years ago. <laughs> time flies. Okay. Um... Rebecca Giles. Hello, is Voight, Jason Begay, that scary? And she put in parentheses, and sexy sounding in person. Yes, Rebecca, he is that sexy sounding in person. Uh, Voight and Jason are the same person. Let's just be clear about that. He's insane. Okay? No, I'm just kidding. He's great. Um, but yes, that is his real voice. People ask me that all the time. That is how he sounds all day. I don't know how it's okay. Like, he should probably go get that looked at. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right. Uh, Lisa Brankel. Do you perform your own stunts? Absolutely. Uh, we try to as much as possible, but a lot of, a lot of us have suffered injuries, and I think that um, we kind of hit a threshold where the network was like, okay, they, they can't do stunts anymore. We're not going to let that happen. Um, too many injuries, like Marina had a concussion, so had to get an MRI. 
I put my hand through the windshield and needed stitches all up my wrist. The doctor was like, you almost didn't make it here. It, I mean, it was crazy. Um, so we try to do as much stunts as we can, but uh, now they've kind of had a mandate. Going, it's dangerous. Then they put somebody in there. Okay, Holly Rhodes. Hi, Jesse. Who or what has inspired you to become an actor? Um, that is like the hardest question. I don't know. It was just always something I wanted to do. Even when I was six, I, I asked my mom if I could do it. I, and she looked at me like I was crazy. How do you, you know, how do you answer a kid when he asks you that? Um, but I guess I always just liked, you know, who doesn't want to play pretend and like make believe, you know? I still do. So it's, it's so much fun. Okay, uh, Jessica Hernandez. Which other actor would you like to have guest star on Chicago PD? I've always said I want um, Mike Tyson to come on the show. I just think that would be awesome. Um, yeah, that would be badass. Okay. Where am I? Jonah C. Um, if you were to choose between doing The Amazing Race or Survivor, which one would you choose? I'm sorry, Jonah. That is not a smart question. Obviously, The Amazing Race. Because I like to eat food. And I don't want to starve. So, Amazing Race, that's a really easy one. Yeah, there's no way in hell I would do Survivor. Okay, I'm glad we cleared that up. Beth Neves, um, what are the similarities and differences between the character you play on the show to the kind of person you are in real life? Um, I don't know, I guess the similarities, like Halstead can be goofy and kind of silly sometimes, he likes to have fun, and that's like me. But Halstead is way cockier, way more confident than I am. I, I, it would be amazing to have that confidence level and experience level that he has in my life. I would love that. But it's a lot of fun to you know walk around as him when we're working and we're on set and stuff like that and, uh, and feel like a badass because who doesn't want to do that? Um, all right, what else? Julie Aslinger. Aslinger. Who, dead or alive, would you like to sit down and share a cup of coffee with? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe like George Washington and see what he thought of the recent election. That'd be amazing. Um, or, I've always, you know, I, Robin Williams would be pretty cool. I think that, uh, what a special human being. That would be a fantastic treat. Okay. Jonathan Smith. How excited are you to work with Carl Weathers? Great question, Jonathan. We're in his office right now. And very excited to work with him. I haven't really gotten to do any scenes with him. But um, I sound like a fanboy. Probably because I am a little bit. Um, and that's okay. I, uh, I don't feel ashamed. Okay. Camille Mathers. What do you like most about your character? Same thing as before, I would say confidence level. He, Jay's so much fun to play because uh, he's, he, he's so sure of himself. Um, and not in a way that's like arrogant, it's, it's confident. It's, it, he backs it up, which I think is important for a character to stay redeemable when you're, um, when you're that confident. 